Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to do is play a clip out of fair use and for educational purposes to show this. Um, I'm going to have a couple women up here that's going to talk about why they are so attracted to criminals, thugs, game bangers, pookie, Ray Ray, Nook Nooks, John Johns, and all the rest of them cats, right? So we're going to have one woman, the first clip, she's going to tell, going to tell you why she loved them, why she was in love with those people. It comes from a mindset to the point where she got involved with criminal um, behavior as well. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, let me know what y'all think about this in the comments as I pull it up. Let's go ahead and start rocking with it now. Let's go. We got a chance to wear fancy things and travel tonight. This is Chris Clark and I'm making this video to kind of piggyback off, off of what my husband um, posted earlier about how basically being a 90s woman has affected us in the year 2016. You see, most of us grew up in this get money, fuck niggas um, generation where um, selling drugs was appreciated and highly accepted. We got a chance to wear fancy things and travel to nice places. But what also happened is it changed our psyche as women. And where maybe at one point we were growing up and we were very girly and, you know, our mother, you know, close your legs and wear dresses and, you know, all these type of things. That She is 100% correct because I know in the 90s, that, that is kind of when it took off with the gangster rap and stuff like that. The people was really looking up to the drug dealers, the game bangers, the thugs. I think it's when you had New Jack City, when you had, um, what was it, um, Minnesota Society, all in that time frame. The thug image, the gangster image, the pookie image became something that everyone wanted to be like. And the women was attracted to that. They were taught to, like she said, they used to tell women to close their legs and have dresses and stuff, but they became more masculine. They wanted to become more gangster. They wanted to be the gangster chick. And a lot of that mindset did come from the 90s. It, it really did. And now uh, you have children being raised by women who grew up in the 90s who still have that same mindset and haven't let go of that gangster stuff. And they raising their children to be independent, get the bag, break dudes, pockets, don't care about nobody because of how they came up. Let's keep going. And we were very girly and, you know, our mother, you know, close your legs and wear dresses and, you know, all these type of things. That switch gears when you messing with dudes and you see them cooking crack and damn you holding drugs and you damn transporting drugs from state to state. You holding guns. Most, a lot of us done been robbed. You know what I'm saying? Like... Uh, we've been in t in, um, interrogated by the police. Like once you start uh, looking at life through the eyes of a criminal, it hardens who you are as a woman. And the nurse. I agree with that. Well, I say I agree with that because I believe that majority of women today are looking at men through the eyes of a criminal. Whenever you look at a man and you say, I'm going to try to get whatever I can, I'm going to manipulate him, I'm going to deceive him. In some cases, I'm going to end his life. If it means I can get what I want out of him, then you are a criminal. A lot of our women have a criminal mindset in their hearts right now. Get over people, beat people over, um, try to manipulate, steal for them, trick them, make them into some kind of sucker, some type of subservient to them. It's a criminal mindset. A criminal is just someone who doesn't care about who they hurt or what they do to get to the bag. And a lot of women right now, right now don't care about who they hurt to get to the bag. It's just a criminal mindset. I really agree with that who you are as a woman and the nurturer that is in you but gets squelched out I was that chick that messed with hustlers I've been a woman that uh, helped cook up crack I done walked with them to the um, walked that's how young I was so if my mother's watching please close your ears I done walked to the um to, to pick up work from the Dominicans and you can't show no expression of they might think, you know what I'm saying, you up to something. Like, I didn't live so much of a criminal life that I don't know how to be a girl, a woman. I was no longer dainty. I was walking around New York, hold my dick type of shit. Like, ain't no nigga gonna do this to me. Ain't no bitch gonna do this to me. Bitches ain't shit. Yeah, bitches ain't shit when your best friend fuck your man for $100. Or for a pair of damn Gucci loafers, no women women ain't shit. So the that's a good point to make. A lot of women say women are messy, or women are in a lot of cases it really is true. Some men are like that too. But a lot of women say that because they are hanging around 
women who have no morals, no values, no scruples, no principles whatsoever. So yes, it's easier for you to believe that all women ain't doo-doo because you've been hanging around women who ain't doo-doo. That's the thing. When you put yourself in situation or, or put yourself in circles of people who don't give a damn, then you tend not to give a damn either. So yeah, you probably got betrayed by a whole lot of people because the people that you were hanging around with wasn't good anyway. So you can't make that blanket statement about everybody. It's just the people you chose to be around. No longer dainty. I was walking around New York, hold my dick type of shit. Like, ain't no nigga gonna do this to me. Ain't no bitch gonna do this to me. Bitches ain't shit. Yeah, bitches ain't shit when your best friend fuck your man for a hundred dollars or for a pair of damn Gucci loafers. No women, women ain't shit. So the reason why you got so many women my age that don't trust women is because we done did some sideways shit fucking with a nigga that got money and we done put our morals to the side so this damn get money dope era has changed the very psyche of today's woman from about 35 to 50 and now we got young girls that we won't raise because we damn don't want to teach them how to be a woman because we done forgot how exactly they done forgot how they rejected the wisdom of their grandmothers and their mothers back then or their aunts, whoever was in their life that was good primary or, or just good caregivers who had actually some damn common sense that was trying to teach them how a woman should grow or how a woman should be. They rejected that for the thug, for the thug image to, I do what I want, but that's Miss Independent. That Miss Independent mindset have set black women back so many years, it's crazy. The only reason why black people got to where they are right now, you to be honest with you, when it comes to our rights and stuff like that, or our freedoms and stuff like that, is because women will work with men. We're working together with each other. We wasn't as divided as we are now. It came when these women came with this whole ideal about being independent, separate from men, be hypersexualized, be hyper independent. Now we are in a situation where we in right now where most women from the age 20 to 29 or 30 do not want to um be committed to a man all they care about is money this is why we have the highest divorce rate we get more divorces than we do marriages marriages fall apart in our community this is why you have so many single mothers out here just keep keep having babies keep having babies keep having babies this is why you have so many black women with so many stds they lead in gonorrhea they lead in hiv they lead in a whole lot of different things because of this hyper independent mindset women it's your fault and you need to wake up Men have been telling you for years what you need to do. And some women too, but you just don't want to listen. So, you'll never get a man until you decide to want to change the way you view being a woman. And it's a decision. It doesn't happen overnight. It's something you have to work on because for the last 20 years of our lives, we've been walking around as niggas. So if you want a man who's a strong man, you're going to have to be a woman. Wow. Now, if you want a bitch, then be a nigga. But I'm a woman, so I wanted a man. So when he tells these video, when he tells these stories about how I was walking around strong and stuff, and then he like, oh, for real, I'm leaving? I had to think, oh my goodness, is my damn relationship from 1992 gonna make me lose a man that I think is great to me now? I was like, hell no. Let me damn put on my big girl, girl drawers and damn, Remember who I saw my mother being when I was a little, little girl. Don't let this media convince us that being a strong, independent wo woman is better, is better than um, having the love of a man. You're going to wind up an old ass cat woman. But now we don't use cats. We just use our kids and we don't let them grow up. We keep them in the house with us and we go get manicures and petties with our daughters and we turn our boyfriends into our to the boyfriends that we don't have. But that's another video. We ain't niggas. We women. Facts. You ain't the N word. You are women. You know what I mean? Like you walking around, like she said, trying to be a man. That's why you don't have a man. How can you think that you can get a man by acting like a man? Does that even make any sense whatsoever? opposite of track you got to be feminine to get a masculine man i mean if you really want one stop being a sucker all the time ladies but anyway i hope y'all like that video i got one more to play for y'all today you know how the gentleman who has gone rogue do you hope you enjoy this um what do y'all think about that though let me know in the comments how you actually feel about that i think the woman was hitting the nail on the head
Especially if she was a former drug dealer herself. Y'all take it easy now, you hear? Hey.